Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, it's a beautiful day here in South Carolina, and let me tell you, we know it's still spring, but let me tell you, outside it's like summer. <laughs> so, our weather is warming up, and we are welcoming it. We're just very happy to have the warm weather. Y'all, today we are going to make a recipe. It's called fudge pie. Now, I've seen this circulated a lot here recently on the internet, but... It's a very, very old recipe. The reason I know it's old is I've been making it over 50 years. So, <laughs> so we know it's an old recipe. But I'm just going to show you my version of it today. And it's a very easy pie. It's um, in the cookbook on page 90. Sunday lunch. Sunday lunch at Mimi's. Page 90. Before we start mixing the ingredients, now I want to show you something. Pay attention, y'all, <laughs> to this, this setting. 325 degrees. 325. Not the universal. Not the universal. <laughs> and I'm not going to confuse you by telling you what it is. So this is 325 degrees. The first thing that we're going to do, this makes me happy, <laughs> is to melt a stick and a half of butter. So we'll put this in our bowl here and then we will stick it in the microwave the butter is melted this is a cup and a half of sugar so we just pour that right in there and then we're just going to mix it oh y'all so proud of me i've learned to use the wooden spoon so i don't hurt y'all's ears <laughs> and tell them so. what about the mixer Oh, don't use an electric mixer with this. If you do, it'll be hard as a rock when you bake it. So <laughs> everything needs to be mixed by hand. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to set this aside and let it cool just a Our little. Our next ingredients is three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour. And we're going to put this in this little bowl here. And then you add to that five tablespoons of cocoa. So... One, two, three, four, five. Now, you just kind of whisk that together because sometimes that cocoa tends to have little lumps in it. So. The next ingredient is three eggs. So I'm going to add that one this big this mixture here has cooled and so and the reason you cool it is if you don't you put that egg in there you'll have scrambled eggs <laughs> so we're gonna mix that this is egg number three so we're putting that in there gonna add that to our other mixture just you just want to break up that egg yolk okay that's mixed well they're all acquainted with one another <laughs> now we're going to add our flour and cocoa right into this mixture okay okay when you add that flour and cocoa now we're not trying to beat this to death y'all we just want these ingredients all acquainted with one another and so that is just all you have to do now we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla oh i think that's a teaspoon <laughs> and just stir that into the mixture this is all mixed up so now the next step is to get ready to bake it the recipe says that you can either bake it just in a pie dish grease it real well and just pour this in but y'all when i first started making this pie i made it in a pie shell and we really like that crust it just tastes good so i use the regular crust not the deep dish you'll have to cook it forever if you put it in a deep dish so i use that in the is that frozen yeah <laughs> oh yes it, it was frozen <laughs> It was frozen, okay? All right, we're going to just 
pour this right here in our pie shell. Oh, y'all, it smells good. Mm. Okay. Let's see how much more we can get in there, KK. Oh, isn't that pretty, y'all? Now, when I put this in the oven, I put it on one of my baking sheets. And I use this one because it's a little heavier. You have to be careful because if you use a lightweight one, well, that thing will buck up on you. Next thing you know, your pie has run out of your pie shell and all into your pan. So put in something heavy if you could do this. But I like to do this because that way you don't have to worry about it running over. I've got it on the pan now. KK didn't video me moving it because y'all we were afraid I might spill it. <laughs> but it made it over here perfect. So we're going to put this in the oven. And we're going to set our timer on 40 minutes. You'll have to just kind of judge this because we'll test it at the end of 40 minutes and see because it needs to be totally done in the middle. And I'll show you how to, to check that. It's been 40 minutes, y'all. So let's take this out and let's check it. Now see, when you look at it, you think it's done, but let's stick this right in the middle and y'all, it is not done. See that? It looks. All right. In here. I'm gonna set the timer on 10 minutes. And then we'll check it at 10 minutes. Our 10 minutes is up. So let's check it now. And let's see. Check it right here. This is done. It's not glossy, so you can tell that that is done in the middle. All right, we're gonna take this out and we're gonna put it on the cooling rack. Sit this over here. And this is a good way to let it cool. Just sit it right on top of that. Mmm. Ooh, smells good, doesn't it, KK? It does. Mmm. All right, it was 40 minutes, and I checked it, and it wasn't done. So we added 10 minutes, y'all. Everybody's oven is different. Just keep checking it to make sure it's ready. We're going to let this sit here and cool, and then I'll show you some really good ways to serve it. We've taken our pie out of the oven. Now, we're just going to let it cool here for a minute. We've got it sliced, and I'm going to show you some ways to serve it. But, y'all, yesterday was Mother's Day, and I certainly hope that you had a good Mother's Day. I had a great one. Uh, we started off with baby dedication for the newest little baby in the family. And after that, um, we went to Augusta, where my brother lives. And it was his 80th birthday. So that kind of overshadowed Mother's Day. It just took on a whole new meaning. And I have a very big family. We had about 30 of us there yesterday. And we counted up. We had 25 missing. And so everybody was kind of scattered doing other things. But we had the best time. And so what we decided to do was after we ate, we all sat in the den and started telling stories about when we were little. And oh y'all, I cannot tell you how much fun we had. I mean, I haven't laughed that much in a good while. And so what I did, one of the stories I did want to tell you was when I went off to college and I came home and my family knew I was dating Lee Leary and he was a football player. Well, I announced that he was going to come spend the weekend with us. Well, everybody about had a heart attack, but anyway. Um, so my brother, the one we celebrated yesterday, y'all, he had strings all over his room. He could cut his lights on. He could open his door. He could pull the drawers open on his chest of drawers. I mean, he had a string attached to everything. And so mama told him, she said, Roy Jr., now, I'm going to tell you, you got to take all those strings down. Lee's coming, and he's going to have to sleep in this room in here. You have got to take those strings down. Well, that just about broke his heart, y'all. And so he went about his duty, taking the strings down. But that wasn't the worst part. She told me, she said, and you're going to have to sleep in pajamas. <laughs> Y'all, he didn't even have any pajamas. <laughs> so she had to go buy him pajamas so he could sleep in pajamas. Oh my goodness, the things that we don't do when we're having people to come in. But I will tell you this. 
Lee won his heart because when he first came there, Roy Jr. was real mad because he had to just do so much to get ready for him. But Lee drove a beautiful Mercury and he let Roy Jr. take it that night on his date. And so we <laughs> was friends from then on. <laughs> All right, y'all, we gonna talk about how we can serve this pie here. Y'all, isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, KK, isn't none of that look good? Mm -hmm. All right, I've already scooped up some, some ice cream here. And this is a good thing to do too, if you um, are gonna serve ice cream with anything, just go ahead and scoop it and put it in a bowl. And that way you don't have to struggle with it. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of whipped topping on it there. And on this one, y'all, we're going to sprinkle some pecans on it. Just a few. Ah, y'all look at that. Fit for queen. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, this one I've... Just go put ice cream on, and then we're just going to drizzle some chocolate over the top of it. Mm. Now, y'all, the only way I could mm. use nuts is, you know, the nut allergy in our family, but they won't be here tonight to eat this, <laughs> so we can get by with this today. Mm -mm. Y'all, that is a wonderful dessert. Oh, you chocolate lovers, this one is especially for you. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and everybody... Shine for Jesus. <laughs>